We believe in standing and sitting again and stand again and shout again if you are if you're a believer. And according to the the song, we know that there's a place up there for people like our own arty. Amen. I've been the founding pastor of this church and she's one of the first and the ushers will speak on their own behalf, but she's well everyone around town. If you don't know this, then you're not up to date. We are the greatest ushers in the world. And thank you very kindly. And she's one of them. Is one of them. Because our spirit is here with us. You can do you can do it. Amen. And um another thing I have to put forth is that we are in a worship service. But as you know, this is Freedom Hall. Freedom Hall Church of God. Some people say it's not just free, free them all, but it's free them all. So you are free to shout. You are free to cry. And if there's any, anybody here from Jamaica, though, let me make Not Queens, I mean the real Jamaica. Good, good. We have two people. So if you feel like bawling, or anybody here from St. Mary? Good. If you feel like hollowing, you can hollow, because, you know, that's hollow. Uh, I'm from Kingston, so we forget about that. Amen. But you're free to do that. We are scriptural, and we believe we should just do things according to the leading of the Lord. So we don't just continue to cry. Amen. We know to stop a little bit, and we'll shout in between, and then we may cry again, but that's all right. Amen. Because God is with us, and he understands. He understands what we are going through now. Amen. This is not just somebody who went with the past and gone home to be with the Lord and somebody, well, my glad and gone, my glad she gone. No, 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 no. This is arty. Amen. So you are free to do that, but we are here in a worship service. Hallelujah. When we ask the congregation to stand, if family members can, then you stand. But it's not upon you. You can sit if you want to. We understand. We understand fully what you're going through because we are going through it also. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're talking about RT here, all right? So, again, we will be moving expeditiously because we are going at a great distance. And then, please remember, we don't own the cemetery. I should get an amen right there. So, we have got to abide by their rules. So, that's why we try to own this place. So that we can cry, we can make noise, and we can do anything we want here. But we have got to take her at a distance, so... If you see with us, if we have to leave, and I'm telling you um, right now before we even close, as it comes to my mind, when we leave, we are all going to the same place. I got to say that again, Riley. We are going to say, so you don't have to race with us. Or you'll get your decal from the funeral director, and then we'll get there. But again, welcome to Freedom All. For those that are coming for the first time, we, we, we just feel a heart. A heavy heart, because this is another thing about the church. We know to have heavy hearts. You know, there are some people who tell you if you cry or if you have a heavy heart, they say, um, well, if you are saved and sanctified and you know what she's going, you don't have to cry. Or we are not there yet, okay? So we cry every now and then and don't apologize to anyone. So I'm going to ask you to stand again. And then our Reverend Lawrence is coming to open us in prayer. And then immediately after, we'll be singing. And when you sing, sing out loud. And don't tell me you can't sing. I couldn't sing until I got to America. When I was in Jamaica, I couldn't sing. But the first shower I took in America, and the temperature was a little bit on the low side, I started to sing. Don't look at me funny, because I'll come pick you out, because the same thing happened to you. I can see you. Amen? I started to sing then, and I'm singing ever since, man. Amen? So you just sing. And according to... What's happening around? You never can tell. There may be a radio um, producer, a record producer standing right next to you. You may just hit a contract. You know what I'm saying? But just remember, if you hit a contract today, I'll be your manager. Amen. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Say it again like you mean hallelujah. If you don't understand it, say it now and we'll explain it to you later. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Reverend Lawrence is coming.
Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise, praise the Lord again. Praise Let's praise the Lord again. Praise Amen. Amen. Just bow your heads. Father, in the name of Jesus, we worship you. We praise you. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you that you are God. And there is no God like you. We thank you. You are God in the morning, God in the noontime. You are God in the evening. You are God when the sun go down. And here we are, O oh God, as we come to commemorate and remember Sister Artie. God, we pray that you continue to touch our hearts. We pray that everything that should be said and done today will be to the honor and the glory of your name. We pray that your presence will be felt in this temple, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We bind all plans of the enemy and release the power of God all over this temple. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Let God's people say. Let God's people say. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. We are here to celebrate the life of Sister Artie. Is that all right? Is that all right? Amen. I want a better amen than that. Is that all right? Yes, sir. Amen. Praise God. We're going to turn our hymns and we're going to sing Father Along. You'll know all about the tempted and tried. We all need to wonder. And why cheer up my brother, live in the sunshine. We'll understand it all by and by. Faithful, faithful to death, said our loving. A few more days to labor and wait. Toils of the road will then seem as nothing as we sweep through the beautiful gate. Father. about it. Father along will understand why. Cheer up my brother, live in the sunshine. We'll understand it all by and When we see Jesus coming in glory, 
when he comes from his home in the sky then we shall meet him in that bright mansion we'll understand it all by and by father along we'll know all about it father along we'll understand why cheer up my brother live in the sun We'll understand it all by and by. Father along we'll know all about it. Father along we'll understand why. Cheer up my brother. Live in the sunshine, we'll understand it all by and by. Let's lift up holy hands and worship the Lord. We'll understand it in the street by and by. We can't understand everything now. We can't understand why we have to die now. But in the street by and by, we'll understand it. Come on, somebody. Lift him up and praise him. My God, he's worthy of all the praise of his people. I can't understand everything now. But we'll understand it in the street by and by. Amen. Tell somebody and tell them, just keep on living. Tell somebody and tell them, keep on living. But we'll understand it in the street by and by. Uh, for you, uh, first morning reading will be coming from Psalm 90, verse 1 to 10. Amen. And that will be read by Simone Charles, who is the granddaughter of Sister Artie. Amen. Praise the Lord. Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Thou turnest man to destruction and sayest, Return ye children of men. For a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday when it is past, and as a watch in the night. Thou carest them away as with a flood, they are as asleep in the morning. They are like grass which groweth up. In the morning it flourished and groweth up. In the evening it is cut down and withered. For we are consumed by thine anger, and by thy wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend not years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are threescore years and ten, and if by reason of strength they by fourscore years, yet it is their strength, labor, and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. Amen. amen. This is the reading of God's holy word. Amen, somebody. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. You may have your seats in the temple. Praise the Lord. But we are here today to celebrate the life of Sister Artie. Is that all right? Can I get an amen in the temple? Amen. We are a Pentecostal church. So we can shout amen, we can shout hallelujah, we can shout thank you Jesus, we can shout praise the Lord, whatsoever comes to our heart, amen, as long as God gets the glory. But when you remember Sister Artie, the, 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 the work that she put in here at the church, amen, we have to thank God that the writers to me, the work that I've done speak for me. It seems so small now. It seems like nothing at all, but when I stand before my God, I want to hear my God say, well done. I wish I had somebody here to say amen. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. So we want to celebrate her life. We want to send her home good. Is that all right? Amen. Praise the Lord. At this time, we'll be having a special selection from the Voices of Freedom. Amen. They become the bless our hearts. Come on, say bless them, Lord, as they come. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. We thank God for the life of Sister Artenisha Wright, affectionately known as Sister Arti Wright. Um, she was a part of the Voices of Freedom, along as the Usher Board. And we love her dearly, and she will truly be missed. God gives light. He takes it away. He, he is the potter and I Going to be 
and the greatest victory oh, the silence will be broken and the storm clouds roll away I hear the saints of angels singing on that whole church and lift up the name of Jesus in the temple. I hear the saints of ages singing and at home coming day. This cannot be it. This is not it. Amen. But the church of God, we have something to look forward to. And the saints of God shall get together. Oh, what a sunrise is going to be. Oh, I wish I had a church up in here to shout hallelujah. Oh, what a sunrise is going to be. Death will lose its thing. Oh, grave, where is your victory? Oh, death, where is your sting? Amen. But we understand that we live for the Lord. Amen. That one day we won't have to worry about death no more. I wish I had somebody in here to say amen. One day we won't have to worry about crying anymore. One day we won't have to worry about being sick anymore. But we can say, sunrise, sunrise, be with Jesus, come on. Sister Hattie, she don't have to worry about one more thing in this world. Say, y'all can't worry about everything, but I'm not going to worry no more. I'm going on to be with the Lord. Come on, somebody, lift up the name of Jesus and praise him. Amen. We'll be having some remembrance from the family right now. Amen. From the family. I'm going to try that again. From the family. Yes. Amen. The family. Amen. Amen. See, she, 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 she tried to shut me up. But let me tell you something. We all can take all day. Because this art was special to us. Yes. We can take all day. But we don't want to take, we don't want one person to take all day. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. Because we don't know if anybody else wants to say something. So let us use our discretion. Is that all right? Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I would like to remember mom. When I came to this country, I remember her taking me to the store. And it was a $10 store. She said, you have to be in church. And I said, I don't think I have anything nice to wear to church. She said, yes, you do. We'll go to the store and get you some outfit. And mom went to, took me to the store, and she bought this outfit. And I can tell you. When I look back on the pictures, I said, those were beautiful. She meant very well, because she wanted you to be in church. Every one of us, when we came, we had to be here. Sure. Freedom All was her home, and she yeah. wanted everyone to know yeah. how she struggled for our kids, her kids, rather, to be here. Yeah. And uh, I'm telling you, um, she loved the church, and she wanted us to serve God, too. And this is my prayer. Good morning, everyone. This memory is from her sister, Aunt Brenda, who lives in Canada. She wrote this on, so we're speaking on her behalf.
My sister Artie was a unique and strong person. She always loved to joke around and tease our older sister Patsy. One thing I can recall when we were kids is that Patsy used to be afraid of lizard, but my sister Artie was not. So those of you who know Artie know that she would catch the lizard on a string and chase Patsy up and down the house, and Patsy <laughs> used to hide under the bed. <laughs> We're gonna learn a lot of things about Aunt Artie. One thing I can recall about our childhood when Artie and I were younger, we used to climb the tangerine tree and pick off the fruits. We would bring them back to the house and squeeze them out into a bottle and make drinks. One thing was for certain, we would get a spanking for it, but it tastes so good. I remember we walked, we climbed the tree one day and the branch broke down with us on it. We ran our little behinds back to, to back home because we knew we were in trouble. We went back in the house and didn't say a thing. Needless to say, we got tired of the spanking and never did that again. Artie and I used to get ourselves in the most trouble. Those of you that remember the house back home knows we had a big mango tree in the yard. We used to have a room at the house where our mother used to lock up the mangoes so we wouldn't get into the room because the door was locked. <laughs> Artie and I would always find a way to get what we wanted. We would be outside and notice the window to the room where the mangoes was open, so we would boost up, she would boost me up and I'd climb in the window, grab two mangoes and came out before anyone could notice. Baseball was one of our favorite sports to play after school and Artie was very good at it. She would always win anything we played. One thing about our sister Artie was she was very protective, especially over me, being her youngest sister at the time. If anyone wanted to fight with me, they had to go through her first, and that was a sister's love and making sure I was okay. There was never a dull moment with my sister growing up. As we got older, I moved to Canada, and when I settled down, I sent for Artie to come to Canada and visit. She visited for a short period, and when, we, and when she went back to Jamaica, she took my youngest son with her and took care, took care of him for a year. <clears throat> she definitely loved kids, and anyone that knew her knows this. Thank you, Father. When she came back to Canada a year later, she took a job as a nanny because of her passion for childcare. Anyone, I'm sorry. After staying in Canada for a short period of time, Artie then moved to the United States where she continued to babysit other kids. The one other thing that she dearly loved other than her family was the church. She was a God-serving Christian. Artie, we love you, and you will, great, you will greatly be missed. Yes. We know you are in a better place. We will be looking, and will be looking over us and guiding us. My tribute to my aunt this morning, the memory of her.
my auntie had such a loving, kind spirit. And I remember there was two occasion when I needed a home to stay. And the first time was when my parents were going through transition in their, in their marriage. My, my aunt took me and my brother in. And there was another time as a young adult, I was going through a difficult time in Jamaica. And she made the way for me to migrate to the US and she gave me a home that I will never forget that. And I am so grateful for her being in my life. Um, she was such a loving, caring, kind-hearted person. I know that she is in heaven and she's resting from her labor and I pray that all the works that she has done for her family, her church, and so many other people's lives she's touched. May her works follow her. Thank you. Church of God. Amen. Let's remember her good. She was a well-serving Christian woman. Yes. And she loved the Lord. Everything that we see here now, yes. God was a part of it. We thank God for the life that she lived. Right as she made the life that I live, live for me. Right. Seems so small. Seems like nothing at all. But when I stand before my God, I want to hear God say, well done. Do I have a church up in here? That I want to hear God say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Now enter into the joy. Come on, somebody. Lift up holy hands and worship him. Because my God, he, he, he sees everything and he knows everything. Amen. And society, God bless our heart. Amen. The radio room that we see here. Basically, she started the radio room. Amen. Because she used to go around with tapes before the radio room came into fusion. Going out on a trip and we can be sure that Sister Arty is going to play something from church. Amen, Church of God. And when we thank God that now we can reap everything that she has planted. Is that alright? Is that alright? Amen, praise the Lord. At this time we're going to be having some open tributes. Amen, by Monica Wright who is from the Best Choice Home Care. And the Usher Board of Freedom Hall Church of God is going to is that all right? Come on, say bless the Lord as she comes. Good morning to the pastor. There's any deacon, deaconesses, to the family members, to distinguished guests in the audience. Pleasant good morning to you. Uh, I'm standing here trying to just hold my composure, having it on the double. But I have to do this for Mama. Pastor, can you permit me to just praise God in the house? Shall we just worship the Lord? Is there any worshiper here this morning? Is there anyone who know, who know that you know that you know that God is a good God? Shall we just worship the Lord? Shall we just, brethren, listen to me. Pastor, I'm a long meter, but not today. Not, not today. But I don't want you to look at me strange today, brethren. I am here mourning the loss of my friend, my pastor, my brother-in-law, 
from the week started, I don't know who I am. But God. But God. And I want to tell you that God is selecting his chosen people. My brother-in-law got to the pulpit Sunday. And when he preached the message, he said God has to take out some people for some to live. And the news came Monday morning. He died suddenly. We are nothing. We are nothing. So I just want you to stand on your feet with me this morning. I've never felt so nervous in my life. But I want you to stand on your feet this morning. And I want you to praise God. How you know to praise God. Shall we just give him some praise this morning? Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. He's a good God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. If you hear me stutter, just bear with me. If I should give this tribute a title, I would deem it the virtuous woman. The book, the good writer of the book said, the Lord gave, the Lord take, blessed be his name. Picture me as I was full of life and love. Although not with you now, I am, I am watching from above. I know how much you miss me. I miss you too. It was my time to leave you as each of us will do. Although not in your harm, I am always in your heart. The precious love we share means we never far apart. I'd like to use these words to describe who my mama, my auntie was. Artaniza, A, aspiring, R, reverend, T, talented, H, happy, E, enthusiastic, N, nurturing, C, caring, I, independent, and A, authentic. Miss Wright, Artie, Artaniza, Mama, was affectionately called by me, even though there were work ethics, one of which we cannot be friend with or patient. I, <laughs> my job, I have done my job professionally executed without compromise. I was called by my job, I think it was in 2019. This assignment I willingly accept, although I did not know where I was going, nor what to expect. I packed my bag by faith for the unknown. To my surprise, I got to the location, went inside. I began to, lo to love what I saw. I politely introduced myself to the outgoing aid, took a glance across to the patient sitting in her favorite brown chair. Immediately, I started to make connection with this lovely woman of God. Although she was not able to express herself verbally, but her old demeanor could tell you of the kind of person she was and the many lives that was impacted by her. My infectious love for mama 
had was hard to resist. Hence, I told my family about, hence I told my family about Mama and that her name was right as ours and that she was also bearing some of the family marks that we had. It is against that background that every week I visited Mama, I would get calls from Canada, Florida, Jamaica, where my family resided to ask how Mama was doing. Miss Wright was loved by many. Even the residents on the building where she was living would from time to time, when we met, would ask for her. They spoke highly of her, of being a nice woman, and how she dressed nicely for church. Miss Wright was able to use her eyes to answer our question when she was asked about basic, basic need. She was, when she was in the mood, Mama was one of the best patients any caregiver would want to be with. She was never a bother to no one despite her illness. I can remember she used to just walk around in the house by herself. She found it a pleasure to go in her cabinet, take up her cups, look at them, at, look at them, and no one would have to tell her to put them back where they, they, they were. She knew exactly where to put them. Another thing that she would love to do was to look at her portrait on the wall, smile, and then walk away. Miss Wright, nursing profession, Miss Wright, nursing profession came right out with the love and affection she had for her children, other people's children, and her family at large. Mama was given toys in the form of dolls to occupy her time. Boy, you should really see how she execute her duty. She takes care of them. She takes care of them. She took them in her arms. She feed them. She fed them. And, she, and she even, when she even taught they were not behaving the way that they should. If she think they were misbehaving, she would never spear the rod and spoil the child. When the punishment was over, she would take them up again, took them in her arm with that compassion. This demonstration show very well how mama cares for her own children. Mama gets, mama, mama got ill and was in and out of the hospital until she finally came home. The many effort Russell and the family had to make for mama to be better, taken care of when they thought about her being in her own space. I can attest that Mama was one of the strongest women ever known. There were many times when we thought that Mama would have been gone, but she bounced back. The Jamaican terms we use, you pick me up, you lick me down, me bounce right back. What a hard woman for dead. In Mama's last days of fighting, it was very hard to watch her through her pain, but God knows what was best for her daughter, for his daughter. I can remember coming in the last week to Mama, and after looking at her, I could see that she was in pain. I went over to her, and I said, Mama, I really don't want you to go, but I think I was selfish. Mama, I don't really want you to go. 
not even her eyes, as she used to use to answer the question, was able to be open. But, and I said to her in a sad tone, Mama, even though you, you want to leave us, but I hate to see this, when you are really, when you are ready, please let me know. I, I am with you, and my wishes was granted. Wednesday morning early, before my shift ended, Mama went to be with her maker. Amen. Mr. Russell, hardly as we call you, I must give you and the other family member credit for taking care of your mom so ably the way you did. Yes, you made sure things were, <laughs> you made sure things were in place every week. The visit, the phone call, the list for shopping, the, and many other things. I would get a call from Russell saying, you run out of anything? Please send the list, because I was the list person. Even the last moment when Mama made her transition to heaven, immediately when I called Russell, it took him no time to be at the house. And I had to say, did you drive or you fly? It was a privilege, Russell, working with Mama, you and the family. Yes, Paul, even though I've never met you, Monday mornings, when I walk in, any Monday morning I walked in, and looked at my auntie, my baby, and looked at her face and saw that lovely baby face, I knew you were present. The hair cut, the nails grooming. It was such a feeling to know that mama was taken care of by her children or played their role in their own ways. Cheryl, your calls. Your presence were felt. When you called to visit mom, I remember the conversation we had. You were worried about mom and how, I'm, I'm, you were worried about mom and you thought that mom deserved the best treatment. And I assured you that as caregivers we do, Yes. Not to mention Miss Brenda. Miss Terry, Stacy, it was a pleasure working with you guys as we take care of Mama together. Can you just stand, please? We're talking about a woman of God. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm, fini I'm finishing you. It's the cemetery. Yes. Okay. Thank you so very much. So, may her soul rest in peace and light perpetual. Shine upon Beautiful. Mama. God, God bless. God bless. Bless, you, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. We could all see a lot about this art. Is that all right? Is that all right? We could all see a lot about her. At this time, the Usher Department from the from Freedom Hall Church of God will come and make their tribute at this time. Amen. We know that time is going from us. Amen. So the Usher Department will come and make their tribute at this time. Today. Bless you. Praise God. I give honor to God today, who is the head of my life, to my apostle, each and every one on the farm, to the bereaved family. 
families and friends in, um, here today. Um, Sister Wright, as we affectionately, affectionately call her here, I can remember Sister Wright when she was a husher. When she walked down the aisle, she always has a smile on her face. Man. I think Sister Wright has a permanent smile. Well. She's always smiling. And we know um, that we don't want, no one wants to lose a loved one. No. But when you lose a loved one and the loved one is gone unto the Lord, that speaks volume about that person's life. Um, we heard oftentimes about a person when they were born and when they died, but we are not thinking about when they born or when they died, we are thinking about the life that they led Amen. while they were alive, between life and death. And we know that she led an exemplary life. She, we know that she was a real woman of God and she take her work for the Lord very seriously. Amen. So we want to just give God thanks and praise for the life that she led and just to rem remember her by the things that she had done. And as we heard here today, all the marvelous things that she had done in her life. So what we can take from that is take a page out of her book and try to lead, lead our life as Sister Wright had done. And family and friends, we just pray that you all just stay with the Lord as Sister Wright had done. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Clap for Jesus. We really must apologize because of the brevity of the time. So much we can narrate about the life of this dear soul. But because, as our, our blessed apostle has said, we don't yet own the cemetery where we can lay her in state. And so we will be moving expeditiously and we apologize for that. Uh, please receive at this time uh, Andrea Beckford, the knees for the reading of 1 Corinthians 15, 50 through 58. May we all stand for the reading of God's word, please. Oh, thank you, Lord. Our scripture this morning will be taken from 1 Corinthians 15, verse 50 through 58. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, well. trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Yes. For this corruptible well. must put on incorruption, well. and this mortal must. must put on immorality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, well. then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is thy sting? O oh, grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, Hallelujah. which giveth us the victory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You may I have your seats. God bless you. The word of the Lord. And so there is a mandate upon each of us that we must through Christ the Lord, put on immortality. Please receive Rona McWright, our beloved daughter, uh, for the reading of the obituary. Please excuse me. I must read this one. A tribute to Artie. Everyone should have a, an Artie in their life. 
I always thought of her as the most spoken, kind, uh, loving, patient, and gently woman. We need more people like Art in this world, and she was definitely one of a kind. I remember the day I met Harty. I was looking for a nanny for my daughter, who was then eight, eight months old. Today, she's 39 years old, have two children of her own. Artie knocked on the door. When I opened the door, my daughter, Julia, crawled away across the apartment to Artie. She immediately sat up with a great smile of her own. Artie bent down to Julia and said, how is my baby? Right at that moment, I knew I would hire her. Artie was with us for almost five years. We loved her so much that we sponsor her and we stayed in touch with her over a decade. I know Artie didn't have an easy life, but it did not seem to change her disposition. She always gave a piece of her mind whenever she, uh, whenever she didn't like something. Yeah. All right, thank you. I had to read that one. I have fought a good fight. Uh -huh. I finished my course. I've kept the faith. Artie, 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 Nisha, Artie, Alberta Wright, was born November the 10th, 1945, in Manchester, Jamaica, West Indies, to her parents, Vivian and Olga Wright, who have since passed away. Artie Nisha completed her earthly journey on earth and transitioned to eternal life on February the 28, 2024, at 4 22 a.m. The union of Vivian and Olga Wright produced seven children, Dudley, Monica, deceased, Patricia, Artenisha, Brenda, Hubert, deceased, and Jennifer. Artenisha grew up in a close, knit family and was raised with a strong sense of morals and responsibility. She spent her childhood in Lancaster, Manchester, Jamaica, and attended Snow and Angle School, where she crossed paths with Raphael Russell. Later, Raphael relocated to Kingston, Jamaica. Artenisha subsequently moved to Kingston yes. with her parents. Afterward, Artenisha reconnected with Raphael, and they were united in holy matrimony. From this union, they were blessed with two children, Audley and Cheryl. However, Artenisha later divorced Raphael Russell. She then ventured to Canada to work as a babysitter. After a brief period in Canada, she relocated to the United States of America, where she continued her career as a babysitter, caring for other children. She then decided to try something different and venture into office cleaning with Temco. However, she later found this job to be quite challenging, prompting her to return to her passion of caring for babies. She continued in this role until she was unfortunately diagnosed with dementia. Artenicia was baptized at New Testament Church of God in Jamaica under the leadership of Bishop Reed. Upon moving to the United States, she became a member of the Freedom Hall on January the 6th, 1985, 39 years, where she was a devoted and active member yes. under the leadership of Apostle Dr. Cecil G. Riley, who served as pastor. Artenisia served as an usher, a quiet member, and was highly regarded in the church community. She also played a pioneer role in recording service, services and special events using a portable tape recorder. These recordings were often played during bus outings oh, yes. and other occasions, oh, yes. endearing her to everyone she knew. She was loved. She loved the Lord. And going to church was her joy and, and happiness. Praying for her loved ones was her devotion. Mama never ceased to trust God, and through this, her, his blessings, 
she was able to bring all her children to the United States. She was known for her welcome smile, big hug, graceful present, and a word of encouragement. A woman of God, she was always elegantly attired, and her life truly reflect embodying her trust in God. She loved taking care of her plants and capturing every moment through photographing. Sister Wright, Artie, Mama, Mummy, and Snoopy fell ill. For many years, experiencing the loss of memory eventually became bedridden until she was called home. She survived by her children, Paul, Everton, Audley, Cheryl, Rona, daughter-in-law, Claudette, and Beatrice, and 13 grandchildren, Danielle, Ariana, Aiden, Shireen, Anna, Nasha, Joanne, Gibson, Javon, Savannah, William, Jordan, and as well as a great grand, Mara, Amira. She also survived by one brother, three sisters, nieces, nephew, and relatives of church, family, and friends. May her life speak for itself. Mama, rest in peace. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. So much more could be said, of course, but we are not yet in eternity. We are still in time. Uh, please receive for the acknowledgement our beloved evangelist administrator, Veronica Lyle. Praise the Lord. Amen. I must greet my pastor, His Eminence, Dr. Cecil G. Riley, First Lady Riley, all the men and women of the cloth, our reverends, the family, the church, friends, and well-wishers, everyone in the mighty name of Jesus, I greet you. Today, we are remembering a dear soul, and um, I can say it was a pleasure working and worshiping with Artie, amen. I was here when she came, and I was here when she had to leave of no free will of her own, but because of life's circumstances. And um, we, I just remember her as that gentle soul that she was gentle, always smiling, always faithful, always helpful, always there. That was Artie, amen. So those we love don't, we, I just would like to encourage the family, they don't go away. They walk beside us every day, unseen, unheard, but always near, still loved, still missed and always dear. A beautiful, gentle, responsible, and loving Artie. Amen. So I would just like to acknowledge all the folks who, on behalf of the family, who played a big role in her life, whether it was a call, whether it was a message, a text, whether it was a visit, whatever it was, the family would like to, of Artanisha Wright, you know, she was such a gentle person. I remember sitting on the choir stand with her and somebody, Cheryl was in church and somebody called her, Cheryl, come here. And Artie said to me, her name is not Cheryl, you know, it's Cheryl. <laughs> Amen, that was the type of person she was. With a smile, she said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, the, the, um, the family would like to extend their heartfelt gratitude to all. We extend special thoughts of gratitude and love to Apostle Dr. Cecil G. Riley and the Freedom Hall Church family. Central Light, Best Choice Home Healthcare, 
relatives, friends, and well-wishers. And, of course, our beloved funeral director, brother Armando Morales of Guiding Light Funeral Service. Thank you for all your support, encouragement, prayers, and well wishes, who by their prayerful support and expression of sympathy have given comfort in this time of bereavement. Words cannot relate what our hearts feel at this moment, but the amount of love that has been extended to us cannot be purchased. We are forever grateful God bless you. We also would like to acknowledge those who are um, our streaming friends and relatives, and also th those who are making comments in the chat of the stream. God bless you. God bless you, family. And we will remember Artie with a smile. Amen. Call her name every day. That way you keep her alive. Yes. Hallelujah. Surely she was a gentle soul. And as been said earlier, she was our first documentarist. When we go on trip, she will be the recorder and bring smiles as we reminisce on days uh, gone by. At this time, we'll be receiving uh, for our sermonic solo, our beloved Reverend Eleanor Riley. Praise God. If I could count the tears that have fallen, it would seem like an ocean to me. And if my heart were a window you could look through all oh, the pain and scars you would see tears will never stain the streets of that city no reeds of death on my mansion's door teardrops are to welcome beyond the gates of glory cause the heart would never break anymore mm -hmm. I question the lost of a loved one the grave is so But we'll meet again where death has no victory in a land where we'll never, never grow old. Tears will never stain the streets of that no wreaths of death on my mansion's door. Teardrops are to welcome beyond the gates of glory. Bread. 
Thank you, Jesus. May I invite everyone to stand. The family can remain sitting if they choose to. It is my delight to bring to you for the proclamation of the word, the blessed apostle, his eminence, the right Reverend Dr. Cecil George Riley. There's a scripture that says, in all things. Everybody shout at me, in all things. Say it again, in all things. Amen. Some people don't say it yet. Some people misinterpret. Didn't say for all things. Let's rightly divide the word. In all things. Shout again with me, in all things. In all things. Lord have mercy. I don't know why we don't own the cemetery. We put enough people in it. Amen. We should own it, man. Oh God, cause I feel I feel I feel like praising him if I know. Oh man, I oh God, I feel like praising him. And she was a praiser too. Amen. Let me just read one verse of scripture and then we'll hasten because the Oh God help me, Jesus. Let me do this. Psalm 23. I'm a I'm a psalm man. If you if you have it, you have it, because you got you got your phone with you. You can't fool me. Amen. Tombo, I don't have a Bible. You have your never mind. Amen. Just fine. Psalm 73. And I really, really want us to, I could just read it for you, but I need, I need to read it for yourself. Anybody feel the spirit today? Do you really feel the spirit? Amen. Folks think we're crazy, but that don't matter. Amen. We're not what you think. Huh? Oh, glory, glory, glory. Amen. There are some folks that think we weren't real humans, but we behave differently. We let them know we're humans. Amen. Amen. I'm going to just, I'm going to just, let the Lord lead, man, because there's a sweet spirit in this place. And the songman said, I know it is the spirit of the Lord. Did you find Psalm 73 yet? Amen. One verse, verse 26. If you find it, say amen. Now we're all going to read together real loudly. I tell you, we, we own the place. So the landlord can't come, Dougie, and say you're shouting too loud. No, 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 we own the place. Amen. Can I brag a little bit? <laughs> and it's paid for. You miss a good place to clap. Amen. Because we know where we're coming from. And we remember we were at Rogers Avenue with Sister Artie. Amen. Amen. And, and, and we couldn't shout too much every time. Because the landlord would say, cut it down on me. Help me, Jesus. My soul is in your hand. Did you find 26 yet? Let's read that together. Come on. My flesh and my heart 
faileth, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion. Can you just do that one more time? Let's do it one more time. My flesh and my heart faileth, but God, oh God, God please add a blessing to your reading in Jesus' name. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. I'd planned to preach, but of course, you see, I can't preach now because that we don't own the cemetery. Amen. I try to I try to get some of these ministers. Let's come together and own the cemetery. But they won't listen to me. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we got to go there and man, if we're not hurrying up, they, ch they charge us extra, you know. You, 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 oh yeah, the union says. Amen. So I'm not going to let them charge us any extra. And thank brother, brother Armando for your patience. Give the funeral director a hand. Amen. Amen. He have patience with that, but, but he doesn't know in the cemetery either. Hmm? Amen. I tell this story all the time because I've got a few Jamaicans. They understand me. The other folks don't understand. Folks from St. Vincent, they don't have a clue to what I'm, I'm saying. I just came back from Wednesday. But they don't have a clue to what I'm going to say. They say, what did he say? Trinidad and forget about it. They just want to get some boogie. Hmm? Amen. But our first funeral I did in, in, in Brooklyn, Amen. And, and I'm preaching because I'm from Jamaica. So I preach. And I was preaching on little fellow, lighter complexion than mine. Am I cool? Amen. He came to the door and he went like this. Now, you know I'm from Kingston, Jamaica. Not just Kingston. I'm from the ghetto. I'm from Jonestown, Trenchtown. You know what I'm saying? Amen. And then, and so when he did that, I remember everything that they taught me how to do that. And how to break it and all of that. So I was right there. Uh, and, and then someone saw my plight, right? And they came and whispered to me and said, he's trying to tell you just to cut the sermon. I said, well, you can do it better than that. <laughs> you don't have to communicate with me like that. Yeah, I get nervous, man. Amen. But Brother Armando knows how to signal me and tell me it's time. Ooh, arty, arty, arty. I can't talk about arty. It's too much, man. But, 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 but Reverend Lawrence said, uh, said a, a short while ago about the radio room, right? So we were at Rogers Avenue and we were going to Rockland State Park on a bus that we didn't own either. And in the back, I heard myself preaching. Yeah. What's going on? You know? And then, then we realized she had a cassette player. Must be the first one that they ever made. It was this size. You, some of these people don't even know what a cassette player is. Forget about ear trap. Never mind. But she, she was playing the messages and playing the service, right? Artie, so everybody fell in love with Artie. Everybody wanted to sit next to Artie. We went to Rockland State Park. Nobody wanted to go on the ride. Nobody wanted Artie, play that again, play that again. She was a DJ from Manchester. Eh? She just wheel them and come again. But, 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 but we enjoyed, we enjoyed her. And, and then we got the idea. We said we need to get those tapes. Some of folks here, they, they, they know the story. We got to get that on tape. So we got it on that tape. And then, and then we said we got to improve it too. So we, we got on the, so we have this big established radio room all because of art to play the cassette. <laughs> Amen. No, no, no. Just Wednesday, we came back from St. Vincent, uh, Vincent, and I'm trying to be cool coming off the plane. And, and somebody said, Bishop Riley, we listen to you every Sunday morning. I said, Jesus Christ, I can't do anything wrong. Amen. Amen. Go to Jamaica the same. From what art is started. <laughs> Amen. And I'm going to just say the pastoral thing, and then we'll pronounce a benediction. She never give our pastor any trouble. Don't look at anybody now, please. <laughs> I can't trust you, Weston. <laughs> God, oh, Jesus, help them, Lord, help them. I said she don't give her pastor any trouble. And people start look at people and say, mm, like you. <laughs> Amen. But, but as you look at the, at the photographs and all of that stuff, we are, we are, oh man, she was holding our little daughter and all of that stuff. And there's one person's picture who appears maybe more than Artie. I ain't calling nobody's name. But I'm just going to ask Sister Gloria to stand a minute. Stand with me, Sister Gloria. Leave, leave, I, I know what I'm doing. Leave me alone. Give her a big hand. 
This has nothing to do with pictures. So don't get me in any trouble. I just ask her to stand because today is her birthday. All right? Am I cool? I got to keep myself out of trouble, you know, because I got to come back and preach here Sunday. Amen? So I can't preach and pure. Anyway, we thank God for this, and you heard everything. Sorry, next time. No, there's not going to be another time, right? Next time we meet, we'll be in heaven. Oh, that's a good time. When we meet in heaven, there'll be no clock. There'll be no cemetery. Somebody said, what a day that will be. Don't, don't act like you don't know to look forward to something. Because I'm looking at some of you now. You know, the old Kingston man here. Amen. And some of you come from far, not just Manchester, come from farther. And the only time you came to Kingston was to get to the airport to get on the plane to come to America. And look how you look forward to that. I'm not talking to the people over this side. I, I can't be bothered with you over there. Let me go on this side. We remembered how long we waited. We, 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 we just got an invitation letter, you know. And we start to speak American, you know. Look at people and say, hey, man. What's, what's cooking, man? Stop it. Didn't even board the plane. Didn't even get the visa yet. All we had was a letter. But we look forward to America. I'm preaching now. We look forward to America. The only thing we knew about America is where we, when we got the postcard. And you see the streets like glistening like, 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 it's, like it's gold. And we said, boy, I just want to get to America. Some of us from Manchester, we curse off everybody in the area. And we didn't get a pass. But we're looking forward to go to America. I wish I was in the right church. Amen. And, and, and we did that. I did that too, man. My mother living in Philadelphia and sent me the invitation letter. And I used to wear windbreakers. <laughs> 95 degrees in the shade, and Riley has on windbreakers and big flag brother shoes, man. <laughs> and I see them folks coming from farm work and they have on three hats. You with me? You, you remember, Dougie? And on 10 watches on each hand, man. And I said, oh, I want you to get to America. But I'm not talking about America now. There's a place called heaven. Oh, I can't be bothered with him. And there's a place up there for people like Archie. And I want to get there too. Are you with me? Amen. We, so let me just say this. Freedom all members, just keep your ears to the ground. Evangelist Lyle will tell you when we'll have our memorial service. We, we got to have our own thing. All right? When we can really get down in the spirit and talk about Artie. The sharpest thing you ever seen in white uniform. Yeah. Oh, man, God, God. Artie, Artie, sit down, no man. You don't want to sit down. You know why she don't want to sit down? She don't want to crush her uniform, man. <laughs> she was armed and extremely dangerous, man. Nobody like Artie. Amen. We have some, some, some stuff that she would bring. She was cool, man. She was cool. Pass by my house and I show you. Don't touch that now. Don't go near to that because you may break it. It's delicate. Where did it come from? Artie. She was a class act. Put your hands together and give Artie a nice clap. Okay. Okay. Signal me. Signal me. So I, wa I was going to preach, you know, and, and I, I even had a subject, even. I had a subject matter, a theme that said, it's all in God's hands. But I can't preach that now. So we're inviting you to come back on a Sunday morning. What time? Sunday morning at 11.30. Every Sunday morning at 11.30, we have services here. And yes, we do have night service too. Amen. Beginning at 7. And they'll tell you and tell you how you can get, get it and tell your friends wherever they are, whether they're in Jamaica or in the West Indies. We have our radio broadcast. We have our TV broadcast. And then we, you'll get some more. But I can't preach, but I'm excited. Amen. I can't, I can't calm myself down. I'm excited. I'm remembering, I'm remembering some fellows were hanging out with Jesus, hmm? and, and they were walking one day, man, stumbling all down, they're so high, you know what I mean, and some folks look at them and say, hey, you, you all are drunk, but read the scripture right, you know, you, you got to learn to read your own Bible, because some preachers will tell you what's not there. As I was saying, amen. And the, the folks look at the Jesus people and they say, hey, these people are drunk. These people are drunk. Read the Bible. Peter didn't deny that they were drunk, you know. <sighs> Peter said, we're just not drunk as you suppose, but we're drunk. Yeah. Amen. The spirit coming, you, you get drunk. 
Amen. People who tear you down and hate your guts, you still hug them. How many know I'm talking about? And still say, God bless you. It's the spirit. Touch somebody and tell them it's a spirit thing. Artie could love people because of the spirit. Not because of Artie from Manchester. No, but because of the Holy Ghost. Amen. So the, the writer of the psalm, follow they said, was Asaph. He was writing the psalm, and because he he he, he went even deeper than, than 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 David. Read when you get home now. Read the first verse where he's saying positively. He's saying, truly, surely, God is a good God, good to Israel. And if God is good to God, people, He's good to Artie. He's good to you. And anybody know how good God he is? Give Him a praise if He has ever been good to you. Amen. And uh, you, if you read the thing, you'll find that he had a problem. What was his problem? He had a problem because he saw the wicked people prospering. It, it, don't act like every now and then. <sighs> never mind, never mind. He saw that wicked people. So he was getting some doubts in God. And this is reality. I'm serving God like, like, like a slave, man. I might as well. Amen. Amen. Look what I do. I, I'm usher. I'm this and that. And I'm doing all kind of things. And look where I am today. We wonder if God is really God. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. But Jesus cleared that up. Jesus said, in this world, you will have tribulation. Help me, Jesus. Hey. Sickness will come in this life. Everybody shout this life. Everybody shout this life. But that doesn't mean you're not saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. As a matter of fact, some of us go through hell because we are saved and sanctified and filled. Oh, glory, hallelujah, glory, hallelujah. So he was worried about that. But then he, he, he went as far as, as I read. He said, my flesh fails and my heart fails. Oh, oh God, this is this life, man, this life. No wonder we don't live like we belong here, good God from Zion. We are living here because we know we're going to live again. One man said, if I, if, 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 if I die, I'm going to live again. If I die, don't let anybody tell you that you have to die. For the Bible says we shall not all sleep. But we shall all, don't worry about it. Whether we are dead or we are still alive when the rapture comes, we'll have to hear what God says. And God is the judge. There's coming a judge. I am glad that we are here to testify that this lady lived a Christian life. Everybody in church is not a hypocrite. Say it again, Riley. Everybody in church is not a hypocrite. For the Bible said, there are a few. Dougie, don't push me, man. I'll preach. There are a few in Sardis that are not defiled. They're, whew, they're coming. And aren't we glad there's one judge? Ah, some call him Rose of Sharon. Some call him Lily of the Valley. Some call him Bright and Morning Star. But every now and again, I like to call him Jesus. And for at the name of Jesus, every, every knee must bow. And every tongue must confess, I got to go, I got to go. Asaph had some problems. Artie had some problems too. I have my problem and don't look at me funny. Because you got your problems too. Yeah, but we can live through because it's all in God's hand. Are you with me? God promised, I'm not going to leave you. I'm not going to forsake you. Even when you're passing through the valley of the shadow of death, I'm going to be there with you. Go on, Artie. Feel your pain. God, I felt the pain for you. Preach, Riley. I felt it at a place called Calvary. Anybody ever heard of a place named Calvary? She knew how to sing the song. They are nailed to the cross. All of my sins are nailed to the cross. We don't mind what you know about us. God will keep it. God will cover us. If any man, any woman, any boy, any girl, be in Christ Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ, I got to go. He's a new creature. Amen. We can testify. We know how to believe that. 
whether in sickness or in health, she believed that. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I don't preach at anybody's funeral just because they asked me to preach. I am preaching there because you're not going to like what I'm going to say. I'm going home. Amen. Folks want to preach the biggest lies that you ever heard in church. Hallelujah. You hear them at the funeral service. When that lying pastor who don't even know the turkey that is in the grave, in the box. But start putting everybody into heaven. You lying demon. Amen. If you live like the devil, you're going to go to a hell. Somebody didn't like that. So let me, let me play it back. Uh, that's what we do in Jamaica. When we know people don't like anything, we just rip them with it. So they didn't like that. So let me lick it back one more time. If you live like the devil in hell, you're going to hell. Amen. Because the Bible lets us understand that heaven is prepared for the devil. And if you go on living like that, Jesus Christ, help me. I got five more minutes. Amen. I tell folks, we have a lovely church here. Everywhere we go, we have a lot of churches. And sometimes people live in the area, live in the district. Never one day come. You remember old time? Anybody remember old time church? Build up with the, with the railing, this and railing, that. And when you're having convention and all that, people come peek too. They may not come in and about the picture. Amen. You have some people in churches, they never even come to peek you. But they drop dead, no come talk about if we can bury them. No, we're not burying them in here. If when they're alive, you come. Jesus Christ, Almighty. <laughs> Preach, Riley. Not even one Sunday, not even Easter Sunday, you know, show up and talk about burying. We're not burying them here. Carry them back somewhere. <laughs> Amen. But we are glad today that as we celebrate Sister Artie, we know that you had problems. We know that you had trouble. But you cast it on Jesus. For the Bible said, cast all your cares upon me. Ah, hallelujah. It's in God's hand. If you are saved and sanctified, if you're filled with the Holy Ghost, if you're on your way to God, go through what you have to go through. Bear what you have to bear. Share the green pastures. I can't even sing that. Rich and pure. God leads. Everybody shout, God leads. Everybody shout, lead. God leads. Yeah. Dear children along. Some true. One of them. Some true great sorrow. But oh, anybody know what leads mean? When I used to worship at, at 9 and 11 French Street in Newtown, there's a man, blind man, from the school of the blind. I used to go for him every Wednesday night. I used to lead him. Oh, Jesus Christ. He can't see a thing. He can't see the, 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 the banana peel that that nasty person left there and didn't put in garbage. But he's not going to slide on it. Why? Because Riley is leaning him and a shift. Are you with me? Lord, I must say. Amen. I don't know about you, but some of us, including Artie, know that we are Jesus to lead us. I got to go. You know how many tricks and things they set up for some of us, darling. You, 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 we're just living and not praising God. We better learn to praise God. Amen. Because all of them witchcraft something. And all of them dopey and ghost something. And what you call it again? Jumbi something. Amen. They set up for some of us, you know. Amen. But it can't catch us. Because he's Jesus. Leader. Lead me. Ah. Sometimes uh, we're driving to a place that we know so very well. Uh, and we take a wrong turn. Uh, and we start to quarry that we miss the way. Shut up! Because he leading me. He leads me. And we are glad that we can testify that he was leading Auntie all the way. Amen. All the hell that you went through, girl. All the hell that you went through. God said, I am reminded there's a place up there for people like you. Can you stand? Can you stand? Oh, I want to see him. Just to look upon his face. There to sing forever of his saving grace. On the streets of glory, let me lift my voice. Cares all past, moment last, ever to rejoice. Oh, I want to see him, 
to look we up upon his time. face. That's what we got to wait. There to sing forever oh, oh, of his saving grace. Oh, on the streets of glory, let me, let let me. me lift my voice. Cares all, Cares all past, oh, oh my last, yeah, ever to rejoice. One more time, now. everybody say, oh, 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 I want to see oh, him, oh, to look upon oh, his face. There to sing forever of his saving grace. Ah, On the streets of glory, let me, let me, let me, let me lift my voice. Here's all past, home at last, ever to rejoice. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Just bow your head right where you are. Just bow your head right there. Lord Jesus, I feel it. If you're not saved with your head bowed, close your eyes. Got to give you a quick minute. If you don't know him as Lord, with your head bowed and your eyes closed, just a quick prayer. Just tell him, Lord, I've been hearing about you all the time. Don't know you as my personal Savior. Come into my heart right now. I'm opening up. There's room for you right now. Come in and save me. And lead me from this day on. If we are backsliders in our midst. Or those viewing. You can talk to him with your head bowed and your eyes closed. Oh God I feel your spirit. Tell him Lord I drifted away from your fold. But because of the love that you said you had for me. No matter where I go. I need you to touch me. Lead me back home. There's always my room back home. If you're a believer on the front line of the battle and because of things that's happening around you get so discouraged come to the Lord say Lord I'm wondering like Asaph if you're still God <laughs> glory to God forgive me Lord for not trusting you fully because your word is your bond you promised that you never leave me or forsake me bring me back Lord bring me back to the place where I first believe and believers let's carry on so that we can meet Artie again to dance in glory, to sing redemption story, never to part anymore. Lord, bless us now, in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated real quickly. The funeral director, you may be seated. As kindly granted us a few minutes. Family, you can stay for last. A few minutes, if you'd like another quick view. Amen. Everyone on this side, we're going to ask you to follow the ushers from the rear of that side. And then they'll just lead you and you come on down and do your view. That's how you want it? All right. Amen. View quickly. This side, just stand. The ushers will direct you from the rear. And we thank you again for taking time out of your busy schedule. Amen. I listened to my weather people so, you know, attentively. And they told me it was going to flood them. Ah, so I wore my flood clothes, man. And, and I, God said, God said, I'm not going to flood today. On Artie's day. I'll flood later on. But when I finish with Artie, ain't God good? Anybody know God? So if you'd like to view, just follow us. Come, all right? Let's do it quickly. Let's do it quickly. Sing us that, that second song. Let's do that. Right. Yes. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, come on, come on, and time shall be no more. And, and the morning breaks eternal, bright and fair. Bright and fair. Oh. When the saints of earth shall gather oh. over on the other side. And, 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 and the roll is called Call up yonder. When the road is called up yonder, 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 I'll be there. Everybody sing, sing, sing. On that bright and glorious morning, when the I shall rise well, well. and the glory of his resurrection share. No, 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 when no, no, the chosen one shall gather over on the other side, side. Yes. and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Oh, when the roll is called up yonder, 
Call up yonder, I'll be there when the road is called up yonder. Everybody sing. When the road is called up yonder, I'll be there. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Sing the song. Let us labor for the master from the door till set his son. Let us talk of all his wondrous love and care. And when all of life is over and no work on earth is and, done, and, 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 and the road is called up yonder, I'll be everybody, there. Everybody, everybody sing now. When the road is called up yonder, when the road is called up yonder, when the road is called up yonder, when the road is called up Yeah, 